Good afternoon, folks. We're live from the Don Oliver Academy as we get set to start our doubleheader. The women came out with a victory against Texas Southern. Now it's the men's turn to try and do the same thing as Alabama State takes on Texas Southern Tigers. First, let's take a look at the starting lineups for both teams. First for visiting Texas Southern, they start at forward Galen Alexander. He's a 6'5 senior. They start at the other forward, Jordan Carl Nichols, 6'9 junior. At guard, number 11, Jordan Gillum. He's a 6'5 redshirt junior. At guard, number 20, Michael Weathers, 6'3 senior. And at forward, a 6'9 senior, correction, 6'9 redshirt junior. Number 24, John Walker. They are coached by Johnny Jones. Alabama State comes in with a record of 4 and 10. Coached by Mo Williams at forward, a 6'8 senior from Warren, Ohio. Number one, Brandon Battle. At forward, a 6'7 junior from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Number five, Jordan Cousin. At guard, a 6'2 freshman from Los Angeles, California. Number 10, DJ Jackson. At guard, a six foot sophomore from Marietta, Georgia. Number 11, Latrell Tate. And at guard, a 6'5 sophomore from Rockford, Illinois. Number 20, Kenny Strawbridge. As we get set to tip off here, Alabama State unfortunately coming off a loss against Alcorn State. That was a 68-59 defeat there. Currently sitting at a two-game losing streak before Alcorn State. They took on Texas Southern and lost 75-66. to So, Darrell, they're looking to rebound just a little bit. They are coming in with a record of 4-10, and 10, as, you, as you mentioned. And uh, Alabama State has an opportunity here on its home floor, has this game and then the, the game Monday night where it's the, uh, the finale, the home finale, to get a little momentum going into the tournament. Coaches making their last-second adjustments to their game plan as we get ready to tip things off here. Teams coming out of the huddle. Alabama State comes out in their home whites with State across the chest. Texas Southern in the road maroons, which the numbers, as you mentioned pregame, a little easier to see than the women's numbers. Oh, yes. Much easier, much easier. Leading score, of course, for the Alabama State Hornets, Brandon Battle. He comes into this ball game averaging double figures, 12 points a game. Right behind him is Kenny Strawbridge. He averages about 10 a game. Coming out of the tip. Tigers win it. And immediately, officials blow the whistle. I didn't get a chance to see what they blew the whistle about. I, I believe it was a shot clock error. Hornets. Good defense on the pick and roll, but they give up the easy layup. Well contested, though. John Walker at 6'9", with a little jump hook. He is actually a transfer from Texas A&M. I remember him playing in the SEC. DJ Jackson. Can't get his first jumper to go. Hornets start their first position, their first possession with the miss. Euro in the lane is up, gets the touch, and that's a pretty basket right there. It is, and now Alabama State falls behind quickly 4-0. Michael Al Weathers on the bucket. Alabama State had a good look down on their end. Good shot selection. Nice Starbridge move. spinning into the lane, left it well short. That rebound is corralled by John Walker the third. Got partially blocked. Back in transition. That shot is blocked, but a foul. And Jordan Cousin got a piece of that one. And with that foul, we'll have our first free throws coming up for the ball game. It'll be Jordan Gilliam. They uh, did not call a foul on that, Daquan. They just called a clean block and knocked it out of bounds. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, excuse me. I thought it was a foul as well. Thought we were going to walk to the free throw line. Yeah, I saw them shaping up forward, yeah. but I guess my eyes kind of deceived me there. Pull-up jumper, hand in his face. That one's off the mark. 
Jackson with a head of steam. In trouble. Tied up. Kicks it out. Wide open. That three-pointer is up and in. That's Jordan a big Cousin three. from downtown. It's a nice shot from Jordan Cousin. First time I've seen him shoot the three this year. And he knocked it down. Gets the start and gets a three. Coming into this ball game, shot 35% from deep. That floater in the lane is up and in. So back-to-back -back buckets. That one good by Michael Weathers. Weathers in the lane seems to be his forte. That little runner hanging and leaning in the lane. Cousin putting a move on. Cuts across the middle. Dumps it down low to Brandon Battle. And he stepped out of bounds. That shot would not count. A good look and a good find by Cousin, but just out of position there. Let's see. And, yes, yep. he was. Oh, yeah, he was. Well, when, did, when he was he out of bounds and he received the basketball? That was the question. He, I, he was out of bounds when he caught the ball. His, his foot slid out of bounds at that point. Hornets leaving a man wide open. Layup. Oh, excuse me. alley -oop is good. Great find and great finish. Jordan Carl Nicholas on the finish. This team of Texas Southern really has got all transfers, but maybe two from other colleges. Temple, Stephen F. Austin, Oklahoma State, A&M. Just amazing the number of transfers they start. Brandon Battle in the post, working one-on-one. -on -one. Losing the handle a bit, tied up, whips it out, and the pass is too strong, too high, and it's out of bounds. Got a little bit of trouble there in the corner and did what he could to try to get the ball kicked back out, but it was too hard, like you said, on the pass. I think he was a bit wary of stepping out of bounds again. You saw his, his right foot kind of pivot there before the pass. Maybe got him off balance, and that resulted in the turnover. Michael Weathers, two of three from the field. He's got four points. Good hands by Kenny Strawbridge, and he knocks that one out of bounds. Texas Southern working with 18 on the shot clock. Coming off of the 17-minute mark in this first half. So two turnovers for Alabama State to start this ball game. Both of them on Brandon Battle. Into the lane. Wilkins has a shot. Left it well short. Gilliam did. Texas Southern will get a second chance at it, though. Alabama State playing good defense on that position, denying the entry post pass. Jackson couldn't get out the way before that ball touched him, and the Tigers will have a second go at it. Long outlet. Weathers, he'll try a three. He's had the hot hand, and he continues. Michael Weathers, man, seven points right out of the gate for okay. Texas Southern. Let's see if Alabama State can weather this storm. They're down early, 11-3 to three the score. Pun intended. Brandon <laughs> Battle at the free throw line, going to work in the post. Turnaround jumper, off the mark, one and done again. Brandon Battle off to a rough start. Getting to the lane. Weathers again. Someone's got to do – Michael Weathers, the transfer from Oklahoma State, going off here in the early stages. Nine quick points for the Tigers, and they build a ten-point lead. By Mo Williams, if they score again and we don't get a bucket, I think a timeout has to get called. Trail Tate in traffic, can't get the bounce. Ball batted around, and Gilliam will come away with a rebound. Hornets looking for a stop. Weathers has been killing them. Give up the mid-range jumper. Can't get it to go, and Latrell Tate flies in for the rebound. Advances. Got a man off his feet. Back to Latrell Tate. He'll try a three-pointer. Left it short. Rims out. One and done again for the Hornets. Pushing with numbers. It's Alexander. Kicks it out ahead, and that basket will fall. And Like I said, that timeout comes out really quickly. It's Johnny Walker on the finish. Hornets will talk it over, and we'll be back after this timeout. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. 
Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need... Welcome back, folks. Alabama State trying to weather the storm here as the Tigers come out the gate shooting. Michael Weathers, pun intended, has nine points already. He's four or five from the field, and he's knocked down a three-pointer. Alabama State giving up an 11-0 run. They've been scoreless almost three minutes of play. DJ Heath and Kevion Stewart, who sometimes start for the Hornets in the ball game now. Strawbridge gives it to Battle. Battle couldn't handle it, and that's another turnover. Advance pass up ahead. Alexander gets that one to go, and another miscue for the Hornets leads to two points. Heath gives it to Strawbridge. Hornets moving. Good pass inside in traffic, and Brandon Battle will draw the foul and be at the line to shoot two. Yeah, Alabama State coming out. It's obvious. It's an understatement when you look at the score. It's 17 to three. Just really nothing clicking right now. Getting out rebounded seven to two. They've had three turnovers. Can't their their field goal percentage right now is one of six. So anything they can do to chip away at this lead, even if it comes to the free throw line right now, is big. Battle off on the first free throw. Free throws, not Alabama State's strong suit at all. As a team, they shoot 65% from the free throw line. Not ideal. And Brandon Battle on the season shoots 59%. He does get one to go, though. There's a man who leads the team in scoring, averaging 12 points a game. Last time out against Southern, had 14 points in the loss. Same move by Walker, a little jump hook in the lane. He gets the lane pretty easy. And that's hard to stop right there, Daquan. I don't want to say Alabama State has come out with a lack of energy because they've played hard. It's just a lot of miscues. Trying to get that ball down low to Brandon Battle. Hornets maintain the possession with 18 on shot clock. Good heads up play by Kenny Strawbridge to make sure that Alabama State keeps the possession. Make sure to throw that ball off of Galen Alexander. Heath probing, working the baseline, gets to the Strawbridge. Deep three pointer off the mark. And Weathers had the rebound and Threw it off a Hornet just for safe measure. Yeah, brought off a big Mike Stone there at his back to the basket or back to the court. Alabama State continues shooting pretty poorly, one of eight right now. I think if Alabama State needs wants to cut into this, ooh, that should be a charge. Yeah, officials turn that one around. Threw his Threw his arm right into him, and officials are going to overturn that almost every time. Yeah, Walker going in really aggressively there. Would have had his eighth point. Good defense that time. And, man, he Brandon Battle hit the floor hard. Yeah, he did. He took a brunt force of that one. It's a good thing he did not hit his head. He kept his head off the floor. The five on the floor for head coach Mo Williams is DJ Heath, Kenny Strawbridge, Big Mike Stone, Brandon Battle, and Kevion Stewart. Strawbridge finds Stewart at the top of the key. Stewart, he walked, 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Very wrong. Foul call on the floor. Alabama State with a little bit of ball movement that time, making Texas Southern chase them all over the half court. Yeah, a little hand check there. I did. I did thought he, thought he dragged his foot for a second. Hornets maintain possession, 20 on the shot clock. Battle on the screen. Step back jumper, DJ Heath can't get the bounce, and loose ball ends up in the hands of you of Rossos. Oh, one too many passes. Yes, indeed. Got a little time. cute and fancy. Yep. Hornets get away with one there. Driving the baseline, good pass. Heath will try again, this time from deep. Can't get it to fall. The bucket has a lid on it at the moment. For the one Hornets. of ten is Alabama State right now. It's just – one of those nights, shooting-wise, tough to get anything to go down. And in the opposite of that, Texas Southern shooting a scorching 70%. Hornets trying to apply pressure. DJ Heath playing good defense. Got his man tied up, and they kick it back out. Try to find something other than the shot clock instead. They'll set some screens, play from there. Man wide open in the corner. Justin Hopkins couldn't get it to fall, but the ball tipped up. Almost went into the goal, and Kevion Stewart comes away with it. Oh, ball got deflected. Carl Nicholas got a piece of that one. Good hands by him. However, it will remain Alabama State basketball. 15 points, of course, is the largest lead of the ball game. From the corner, three ball is up and in. DJ, DJ Jackson, Jackson, the man with two different colored shoes. I've never seen that before on a basketball court. He's yeah. got a black shoe and a gray shoe. Happens every so often. That yeah. bucket good by John Jones. See, I'm I'm just old school because Converse All-Stars only came in one color, the black. <laughs> oh, so, you took yeah. it all the way back no, there. I, <laughs> I, we had Nikes when I played. <laughs> DJ Jackson dancing off the screen. Heath put a move on. Weathers guarding him. Pass a little low. Brandon Battle in bad position. Couldn't get that layup to fall. One and done again. And Tigers lost the handle, and it'll go back to the Hornets. Mike Stone hurting a little bit behind the play. Got hit. Low is what we'll say. Yeah, definitely <laughs> low. They'll try to walk it off there. There ain't no walking that off. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Battle getting it to the lane. Doesn't get the foul call. And he's just off his game right now. Wide open man in the corner. Another three-pointer. This Holy time it's God. good. Point is just reeling right now. That's John Jones, who is the son, I believe, of Johnny Jones, who's the coach. He's from Nevada. He's a transfer from Nevada. Another transfer. Again, this is the largest lead. 17 points to deficit. DJ Jackson gets it down low to Brandon Battle. See if he can get it going. In traffic, kicks it out. Five on the shot clock. That floater is up. And the foul call on the floor. DJ Jackson took a blow and we'll take a timeout. Following that timeout, we'll have some free throws coming up. Point is down big to start this first half. The score, 24-7. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, Success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. 
It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. Hornets down big to start this ball game. It's a 17-point deficit. The Tigers have come out shooting, Daryl, and it's been apparent from their shooting percentage. Currently standing at 69%, 11 of 16 from the floor. Yeah, and 2 of 3 from behind three-point land. In comparison, Alabama State, 2 of 12 from behind the field, from the field at 16% or 17%. Another glaring number for the Hornets. They only have three total rebounds, whereas Texas Southern has 12. That's quite the margin, and it's probably playing in the why this deficit is so big at this moment. Yeah, the statistics are lopsided. The scoreboard's lopsided. Alabama State's got to just kind of crawl back, got to kind of get this thing just chip away. And Jordan Cousin missing two free throws. Alabama mistake comes out scoreless on that possession. Going down low. That shot off the mark. Well contested. Made it hard for Rosas. Heath driving baseline. In trouble. Kicks it out. DJ Cousin. Yes, sir. DJ Jackson can Excuse wear five me. different colored <laughs> shoes if he wants. He keeps shooting it like that. Pull up jumper from the elbow. That one's up and good. Quick answer by the Tigers. I call him DJ Cousin. Wow, I feel bad. It's all right. <laughs> he Cousin hit the first. Uh, he, uh, Jordan Cousin hit the first three. That's Maybe what that's I was why. thinking about, yeah. 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 DJ Jackson getting it to the lane. Count the basket and one. The best game so far that I've seen, obviously, is him in an Alabama State uniform. He's really come on, starting to emerge a little bit. He's got eight right now. Chance to get nine. Jackson only shoots 50% from the stripe, so you take what you can get coming into the ball game. He's split him right down the middle, of course, 6 of 12. Hits that one there, though. Yeah, if he hit his other uh, two free throws, he'd be in double digits already. Uh, missed something here. That's ah, interesting. Shot clock mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. yeah. Getting it set. Hornets. Trying to claw their way back. Tigers have them double up on the score. They're going to do it with stops, and they have to do it here. Kick out to the corner. Gilliam, no good on the three-pointer. Offensive rebound is up and in. Rajas, Rasas gets it to go. Good offensive rebound by Rasas. Obviously, after the air ball, though, Alabama State had a chance to grab the rebound and get position or get possession. And now it's 26, actually 28-13. Oh, that's a tough jumper. Looks like he got a, they got a piece of tape. No they call. Have. Tigers getting anything they want right now. It's looking ugly. Jordan Gillum transfer from UC Riverside with a little finger roll. Hornets looking for answers here. Or just past the halfway mark of this first half. Foul on the reach in. That one will go on John Jones. Foul. 
That three ball is up and in. Well needed for Alabama State. Latrell Tate drills it. Absolutely. That stops the bleeding a little bit. Latrell Tate from way downtown. Spin move into lane. Great find and great finish. Johnny Walker to the third, getting it in. I'm wondering how Texas Southern is where they are in the standings. They look like a complete basketball team and somebody that you do not want to face in the conference tournament. No, not at all. They're definitely playing on all cylinders. Kevion Stewart lets it fly. One and done again for the Hornets. The possessions look rushed, if I do say so myself. They really do. I hear it pass, but it winds up in the hands of a Tiger anyway, and they drill it. <laughs> what can they do wrong right wow. now? They are 70% from the field right now. John Jones drilling another three-pointer, and Hornets have to take another timeout and collect themselves. With that timeout, we'll take a quick break and Hornet try to get themselves together. Stay with us. It's the Hornet Sports Network. Welcome back, folks. 19-point advantage for the Texas Southern Tigers, and Alabama State is looking for answers. The shooting wall is continuing to this point. They're 5 of 17, whereas the Tigers are shooting 70%, 69 point six, 16 of 23 from the field, and they're knocking down everything. They're getting all the looks. Pull-up three-pointer, left it well short, and that's just a microcosm of the night the Hornets are having. Coach Williams saying that that ball was tipped, partially blocked out of the hand of Tate. A leading scorer for the Tigers. John Jones, he has 10 points. Michael Weathers started the game off hot. He has nine points as well. Well, he has nine points to go along with his 10. Kick out to the corner. Pump fake. Wide open three-pointer. Left it short. Fight for the loose ball, and Latrell Tate comes away with it. Tate. Oh, dangerous pass. That one was red all the way. Alabama State's not making this simple play right now. They're doing a lot and trying to get it all back at one time, and you have to take it possession by possession. Back-to-back -back turnovers by both teams. Brandon Battle, head of steam, getting into the lane. Couldn't get it to go, and the putback is good. I think that is your man Cousin that time. It really is, is Cousin. As he um, follows up with the dunk. That time, Alabama State getting out with numbers. Brandon, Baden take, Brandon Battle taking it right to the rim. Somebody lost a shoe there. Ooh, yeah, it was off the rim, off the cylinder. It's a good thing that Cousin pulled down on the rim a little bit. Just past the seven-minute mark at the Don Oliver Academy Hornets trying to – Make something happen here. Tip back is up and good. John Walker, the third, with the tip. Good move, and that one gets DJ Jackson open. Can't knock down the three, though, one, again, one and done again. 
Jordan Gilliam on the rebound. Long outlet. Hornets not paying attention. They just give up the easy one there. They just look uninspired right now. Walker with 12, now leads all scores. Hornets getting 21 skunked here. Got to make something shake. Strawbridge gets an easy one there. and you Take it one possession at a time, and you get what you can. Strawbridge just one of three. That's his first field goal of the day. Penetrating. Uh, pass off the mark. Jordan Gilliam thought he had the man open. Just off the mark. Gilliam stole the ball away a couple times. Now, listen to this, Daquan. The rebounding advantage, 20-6. to six. Texas Southern, 20-6 to six over Alabama State with the rebounds. Shooting percentage, 64% for Texas Southern. 32 for Alabama State. It's a blistering hot shooting percentage, and anybody's going to have this big a margin. Largest deficit for the Hornets was 21, getting into the lane. DJ Heath, layup too strong off the glass, and the Hornets just can't find the answers. Offensive foul, and we're going back the other way. Brandon Battle's really got a knack on how to draw the offensive foul. It takes a lot of courage, but it takes some skill too. In that combination, he's done a really good job drawing fouls. That's a He was leaning back to take the contact, but, oh, man, his head hit. Definitely avoided most of the contact there, but he still gets the call, and we'll take that either way. you got to be careful, too, when you're laying on the floor like that and somebody tries to follow that you don't get stepped on. Going back to the rebounding margin for the Tigers, they have 16 defensive rebounds to Alabama State's five. So they're clearing the glass once Alabama State puts up a shot. They're not allowing any second chance points. They're not. Strawbridge facing up, going to work, in trouble, kicks it out. DJ Heath for three. No good. One and done again, and that goes back to my point. They box out, and they make sure they clean that glass up good. Turnover on the floor. Strawbridge, he'll pull up. Oh, can't get the roll. Foul call on the floor. That one will go on Jordan Cousin, his first. I'm trying to think. Yeah, he's holding, I guess. He's got arms locked. If you're head coach Mo Williams, what do you do? Who do you go to to try to give you a spark? Good feet inside, good misdirection, and that's just beautiful, beautiful basketball. Carl nice Mitchell's little give and go, go, yeah. This time, Cousins will try another three-pointer, and he'll hit it. That's his second. We'll take a timeout on the floor following that three-pointer. Hornets. Down a lot. We'll try to make some headway when we return. You're tuned in to the Hornet Sports Network. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State athletics is an investment in our student athletes our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. 
Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. Hornets down big. They haven't led at any point in this ball game. Jordan Cousin just knocked down a three-pointer. He just he has eight points now. The issue now for the Hornets is getting stops. That one left short, but the offensive rebound was corralled, and there's a foul call on the floor. I'm trying to see who the foul call was on. They give it on the Trill Tate, his first. The five on the floor for head coach Mo Williams. The Trill Tate, Kenny Strawbridge, Jordan Cousin, DJ Heath. Foul call on the floor. DJ Jackson is also on the floor. Weathers with a good little spin move in the lane. Kind of forced that up, but the, does draw the foul. He's, he had nine early points, I mean, real early in the game, and then went quiet. Weathers also started the game really hot. Had nine points, but he hasn't taken too many attempts. He's had a, t a full team effort working for him thus far. Again, this is an Alabama State team that's Coming off of two losses, don't want to make it a third in a row. Second free throw off the mark. The deficit down to 19. DJ Jackson gives it to Cousins. Cousin, he'll try a heat check. That got blocked. Weathers. Getting it to the lane. Kicks out to the corner. Good ball movement once again. Takes a Southern. M moving beautifully. Just can't culminate it with the three-pointer. DJ Heath comes away with it. He's in trouble, though. Gets double teamed. And the Hornets have numbers. Tate, that's some tunnel vision there, but he gets the foul call, so he'll be at the line to shoot two. Tate going in one on four there in amongst the trees for Texas Southern, but does draw the foul. Trail Tate averaging just under nine a game. Shoots 34% from deep. However, at the free throw line, 59%. Oof. Makes the first, though. Hornets only shooting 50% from the strike right now, three of six. They haven't had too many of them, though. I tell you what, though, Darrell, the paint has been crowded whenever the Hornets try to drive. They in really there. have. They've collapsed. Texas Southern has collapsed defensively. One of two from the charity strike. Kevion Stewart has checked into the ball game. Jones hands it off to Hopkins. Hopkins, good ball movement once again. And the layup is up and in. That's a pretty soft touch. Yeah, Jordan Nicholas gets the ball up really, really quickly. There's a goal 10. That one would count. Goal 10, basket is number 20, Kenny Strawbridge. Texas Southern. Working 20 on the shot clock. Sitting pretty. That, yeah, I saw that reaching all the way. Kevion Stewart got his hand right on him. They were going to do a little give and go again with Nicholas. You'll see the reaching right here. Number one, 
Definitely embellished the contact a little bit, but he did get the whistle anyway. Elbow jumper, in and out. Ball batted around and ends up in the hands of the Tigers once again. And Justin Hopkins will be at the line to shoot too. Yeah, he got to secure that rebound. It's right in his hands. And Hopkins did a good job of stripping DJ Heath that time. This team is just tall and it's showing it's showing on the glass. I mean, the, the margin right now is just bewildering. They're very long and athletic, and that that's the reason why you got that rebounding differential. Just one offensive rebound for Alabama State, seven of them for Texas Southern. 20 defensive rebounds for Texas Southern, and Alabama State only has seven. Two thirty to go in this first half. Hornets trying to finish strong. Strawbridge tied up, kicks it out. Kevion Stewart, wild shot. He has a pass attempt there, and uh, Brandon Battle was not expecting it. I, I couldn't even tell you. I thought he was just trying to scoop that bad boy in there. Yeah, he, he, he was trying to look down low for Brandon Battle, and it was an errant pass. Gilliam has Heath on him. Loose pass winds up in the hands of Hopkins. Texas Southern content to move around. Hornets are doubling on the screen, and I think that should change. It does result in a turn over there, so maybe I should stop talking. <laughs> DJ Jackson to Heath. Heath in the lane. Thought he got fouled there. And one and done again for the Hornets. DJ Heath going strong that time to the rim. Thought, like you said, that there was some body contact. 1.30 to go in this first half. Hornets want to close it strong. It starts on the defensive end. They go down low. Jordan Nicholas. Three-pointer on the way. Well, it is on the way now. Hopkins, no good. Officials blow the whistle. Foul call on the floor. I think it's on Strawbridge. Not sure what he did there. I think he held Nicholas, who was trying to go up to – to grab the rebound. Yeah, Strawbridge. Definitely hold, hold it. Oh, then he hit him on top of the head. I didn't see any contact on the head there. I think he, I think he did try to hold him before he jumped for the ball, so he might have gotten him there. At the line to shoot some free throws, it's Jordan Carl Nicholas. Texas Southern still shooting blistering from the field, 20 of 34. They haven't taken too many three-pointers, but out of the seven they've taken, they've knocked, down, they've knocked down three. First free throw was good on the one and one. Yet to see Jordan O'Neal tonight. I assume he's injured. I would assume so, too. They could have yeah. used his presence down low. He's... A defensive anchor of sorts. Gets big and gets up on the glass to send shots back. They miss his presence down there. Tate probing. Man, that paint is just so crowded. Brandon Battle gets an easy one there. Great pass and great setup. Brandon Battle and Nicholas having some words as they go down the floor. That's a little jawing back and forth. Some friendly trash talk there. Brandon Bell just got his first field goal. Put him in spin cycle. Million dollar move, two cent finish. One and done for the Tigers. Tate kicks it out wide open. That three pointer left it short. Jackson couldn't get it to fall. Looked like he's holding his hand there. Yeah. I know. Not his, not his hand. Yeah, he is. He's shaking his left hand. Not his, not his shooting hand. 
about a two-second difference between shot clock and game clock, so Tigers will likely have the final possession of this first half. Three on the shot clock, pull-up jumper on the way. Oh, my goodness. That's how you silence a crowd. That'll do it for the first half. Texas Southern in commanding control against Alabama State. The largest lead was 21 points. They go into the halftime with a 49-28 advantage. When we come back, we'll have some halftime numbers for you as Alabama State talks it over and tries to come out of the second half with some renewed energy and life. Stay with us. It's the Hornet Sports Network. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, Success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Welcome back, folks. It's halftime here at the Don Oliver Academy. Hornets currently getting shellacked in just about every facet of this ball game. It has not looked good, and there isn't a lot of positives to take away from them either. If you look at the numbers for both teams, yeah, the shooting woes have been uh, a trend for Alabama State, to say the least. But fortunately, they're a second-half team. They seem to play their better ball when their backs are against the wall. They've definitely made some comebacks happen during this season, and they could make this one interesting should certain things go their way. Yeah, you're right, Taquan. They are a second-half team. They've played a lot better in the second half and have had some really kind of comebacks. Uh, looking at these statistics, you – you mentioned it, the field goal percentage, 58% to 32%, Texas Southern over Alabama State. Rebounding margin is, is just outrageous, the differential. Second chance points, Texas Southern's had a lot of second chance opportunities. Really, the only thing that Alabama State is winning from a statistical standpoint, turnovers. Alabama State's only turned it over five times in the first half, which is pretty impressive, but Free throws, three of seven for Alabama State, four of six for Texas Southern. Alabama State, Daquan, has shot 14 three-pointers in the first half. They've made five. Texas Southern's been a little bit more content to go inside, work it inside. They're only three of seven from three-point land from a 43% percentage. So uh, personal fouls, eight to seven. Texas Southern's got called, whistled for eight. Alabama State's got whistled for seven. So it just a, a big, big statistical disadvantage for Alabama State. And how you have to get back in this game, Daquan, is you just have to take one possession at a time. You can't get it all back, you know, in, in a quick block of time. You got to be patient. You got to chip away, chip away, and chip away. Down 21 is going to be a tall task, but Alabama State can do that in the second half. I agree, but when the looks aren't coming from the inside, they've, they've really shut down that lane. They've clogged it up, and they're forcing the outside shooters to knock down their marks. Credit Alabama State. They've done that when given the opportunity of shooting 35% to this point. You're right, and you mentioned earlier in the broadcast about how tall and – I mean, they are very long – very athletic Texas Southern is, has a lot of transfers with a lot of experience, guys that have played Division I basketball at the Power 5 level. So uh, Alabama State's got his work cut out for him in the second half. But the way Texas Southern came out in this basketball game was just a house of fire, playing very, very well, shooting the ball very well, very balanced scoring. It's going to be a tall task. But, you know, another bright spot for Alabama State, D.J. Jackson. Did have nine first-half points. Played really well for Alabama State, as did Cousin, Jordan Cousin with eight. Got to get Brandon Battle going a little bit and Kenny Strawbridge. And if Alabama State can do that, they can chip away at this lead in the second half. And when we come back, it will be the start of the second half. The guys will warm up, and we'll be back to get things started here at the Dunn Oliver Academy. Stay tuned. We'll be back. It's the Hornets Sports Network.
Welcome back, folks. We're getting set to start the second half in just a second. As you can see, Alabama State has a fight on their hands. A 21-point deficit isn't necessarily out of range, but it starts as soon as the horn, as soon as the horn starts. You got to chip them. away. Alabama State does get possession here. Kind of set the tone right here as you come out for the start of the second half. Alabama State will start the second half with the possession. The five on the floor for head coach Mo Williams, DJ Jackson, Latrell Tate, Kenny Strawbridge, Brandon Battle, and Jordan Cousin. Tate probing. Brandon Battle couldn't handle the pass. Turnover on the floor. Tigers draw the foul, but will be at the line to shoot two. Galen Alexander, the starter, with only two points, so he does go flying down the lane and draws the foul. It's been uncharacteristic for Brandon Battle. He, he gets the foul there, and then he turns it over again. He, he's had a lot of those miscues tonight. It has not been a pretty performance for him. A very forgettable first half, and let's hope he doesn't continue that in the second half. First free throw good for Alexander. Of the six turnovers that Alabama State has, Brandon Battle has three of them. And one uncredited uh, off of the turnover that he had from stepping out of bounds. Three-point opportunity now for Jordan Cousins. He gets fouled behind the three-point line. You got to make your free throws, though. Let's see what Nicholas did here. Nice job by Jackson to draw two defenders. Nicholas runs out at him. Yeah, right hand. Jordan Cousin at the line. Good on the first free throw. Cousin on the season averages 56% from the charity stripe. So, again, pedestrian numbers. Making it look good right now, though. Making, uh, taking advantage of his start, too. Cousin with 11 points. So, Cousin knocks down all three free throws. Shrinks the margin just a little. And whoever's on the shot clock fell asleep yet again. Got to wake up over there. Texas Southern sitting at a pretty 50 at the half century mark. Alabama State with work to do. They're trapping hard on the screens, which I think resulted in a turnover last time. They combat it well this time. That's good defense, but better offense. Brandon Battle held his position. Nicholas just had the better shot. Really fought hard for those two points, did Nicholas. Bodied up. Strawbridge looking to give it to Battle. Battle is going to look to answer. Going to work inside. One-on-one. -on -one. Loses the handle, and yet again, another turnover. It just... Been that kind of a night for him. It's his fourth turnover. That was a wild shot off the mark by Weathers. Weathers had the hot hand in the first half. Latrell Tate in the lane. Wild reverse. and that. There's just no structure at all right now to Alabama State's offense. They're just coming down and throwing up wild shots. They did get a defensive stop on a charge there. Latrell Tate putting his body on the line. It's Jordan Gilliam's first foul. Mike Stone's going to check in for Brandon Battle. Battle having a um, very forgettable afternoon. Assistant coach is just talking with him, maybe trying to get his head right. They try to run an elevator screen for Latrell Tate to get him in the corner. Ball ends up in the hands of Kenny Strawbridge, and he draws the foul, so he'll be at the line to shoot two. Yeah, that foul on Galen Alexander. Good jo job by Strawbridge there with a little drop step going right to the lane. Go, 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 go. 
Strawbridge, the second leading scorer for the Alabama State Hornets, gets the bounce on the first free throw on the season. He shoots 69% from the strike, so semi-reliable. We'll take two of, two of every three here. The lead back down to 19. There go the Hornets trapping on the pick and roll, and they give up the easy deuce. Nicholas gets a lot of, of points. He also likes to be very demonstrative after he hits a layup. A ball almost poked away by Alexander. Strawbridge gets it to DJ Jackson. Jackson on the drive. Ran into the trees and turns it over. Looks like there was some body contact there that DJ Jackson was asking for. Strawbridge was on his side too. He wanted the call as well. Thought the possession should have remained at least with the Hornets. 17.44 to go in this second half. It's been a long afternoon for the Hornets. Into the paint. Man got tied up, kicks it out, and the three-pointer on the way won't go. DJ Jackson comes away with it. Jackson, Euro, had that volleyball spike back. Gilliam on the fast break, alley-oop. And it's up and in. Pretty play. John Walker with the finish on the pretty alley -oop. And it goes, how, how this whole thing transitions is a, 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 a rush shot and a four shot by Jackson. Texas Southern has numbers. And then the alley-oop to Walker. Straight out of 2K, I tell you. Yep. These Tigers have just silenced this crowd. Hornets. Get a three ball. Man, boy. Jordan Cousin. 54-38 the score. Turnover. Oh, look at Cousins go. That's the momentum you need. Texas, take, Texas Southern takes a timeout. John Walker, I think, got hit accidentally in the face. Athletic Let's see trainer. if we can see it. Tending to him. Might have happened off the screen there. Let's see. Oh. Ooh, took it right into the face. Yeah, yeah. cousin helmet, uh, head, helmet, head to face there. He'll get looked at, and we'll be right back from the break. Welcome back, folks. Texas Southern tending to the injured John Walker III. Took an inadvertent head to the eye and had to get looked at by the athletic trainer. I think he's all right on they'll, the bench for now. Yeah, they'll send him over there for a little bit because of concussion protocol. Officials so you, call you, the travel. A little late, but better late than never. Alabama State does come alive. In the second half, we've talked about that, and they're on a little mini run right now. 
They're forcing turnovers and making shots when they need them. 5-0 run. Cousin, thought about the three. Well, he's feeling it, so I, I don't blame him. Off the screen, they switch. They don't want to give Cousin the open look. DJ Jackson getting into the lane. That's a good bucket. Good job by DJ Jackson. Really persistent there. Was not going to be denied. And it's cut to 12, which is big. I think it got up as big as 23. Yes, indeed. Largest lead was when it was 56 to 33 at the 17 minute mark of the second half. 16 minutes left in this ball game. Hornets trying to make some inroads. Loose ball, he stepped out of bounds. That's Alabama State basketball. Man, as Alabama State come alive, Texas Southern's gonna have to call timeout. They wanna get it together and talk it over. We'll let them do that. Alabama State on a seven nothing run. Time out. We'll be back after this. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. Alabama State making some inroads here. The lead is down. No, excuse me, they make a correction. The score is officially 56-42. So Alabama State still making inroads. 56-40, actually. Ah, that's what it was. Hornets bringing the trap, forcing the ball movement, and Strawbridge is all over them. Gilliam can't breathe. Good move to shake him loose. Oh, good hands. Had it poked away by Kevion Stewart. And oh, my goodness. Late again. Alabama State had numbers the other way. Wow. Oh, he did hook him on the arm. Yeah. Ah. Whoo. Weathers got the switch. Latrell Tate on him. Floater up and no good. Ball batted around. Second chance points is up and in. That one good by right, Jordan Carl Nicholas. He's been around all game. He's got 14. Oops. Weathers commits his third foul. That's a big foul. That's his third. Still got quite a ways to go left in this ball game. He might have to take a seat soon. Or if he takes a seat, he's got to roll his shorts down a little bit. Oh, he's had them up all game. Yeah, it's amazing how different eras. I mean, you know, that was the, that was the early. The, yeah. the John Stockton era. Then everyone went to the low, and he likes them pulled up like swimsuits. The bird magic eras of. Yeah, that's a bomb. Shrunks up. So smart by DJ Jackson yeah. right there. Did you catch that? He's laying on the ground. And then just dusts the ball. Moves out of the way because that ball hits him and he's laying on the end line. 
That's a foul. You can't jump into a guy like that. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Good awareness, though, nonetheless. Trail Tate going baseline. Had it blocked from behind. Jordan Gilliam got a piece of that one. Yahuza Rasas will inbound. Hornets applying pressure. Ball fobbled. It doesn't matter, though. Oh, that might have been offensive interference. But they get away with one there. Hornets out on the break. Strawbridge sees the lane and draws the foul. And he's down. Now he's okay. He's okay. That's Nicholas's third foul as well. The foul starting to pile up here. So Michael Weathers and Jordan Nicholas, excuse me, not Jordan Nicholas. It is Jordan Nicholas. They both have three fouls. Galen Alexander also has three fouls. A little food for thought. Yeah, we need to get him in foul trouble. Continue its uh, Jones checks in for Texas Southern. He did have 10 in the first half. He did. He got hot. Had a great first half. Alabama State with Stewart, Jackson, Strawbridge, Cousin, and Tate on the floor. Tate. They're going to clear out for him. Let him go to work. Pull up jumper. Well contested. Doesn't matter. He drills it. Flexes the muscles a little bit. He's <laughs> Tate pretty excited about that little turnaround jumper. Texas Southern saves the possession. Ball was loose. They come with a double from the corner. Good, good defense by Strawbridge that time. Forces the turnover. Alabama State 58-42. They've cut the lead to 16 again. The three here would be big. Just past the 14 minute mark of this ball game. Alabama State had at one point been down by 23. The reach that time by Jones. So John Jones also working with three fouls. A lot of personal foul calls here. Alabama State should be in the bonus soon. In fact, they are in the bonus. Offensive rebound is Cousins up and in. He's playing out of his mind right now. 18 points for Jordan Cousin. He was so good, you were calling Jackson Cousin earlier. I know, right? <laughs> it's because he was all over the place, man. You have the hot hand. Oh, you have the hot that's hand. offensive right there. You cannot be bold into him. That's all right, though. He blew the bunny. Yep. Texas Southern will get another opportunity, though. Rosses lowers that head right there, lowers the shoulder. Watch as he gets it on the baseline, Daquan. And just yeah, he oh, barrels into on. him. Yeah, no call there. I guess you can lean in and roadblock. You can somebody. call that karma because he blew the layup. He blew the layup, but Texas Southern regains possession. That that's a terrible non-call. Got to call him like I see him. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Wiping up the debris that. Rosses caused with that two-car accident. Definitely. Football was yesterday, yes, so. Yes, that's right. 13-22 remaining in the game. Stole that football joke from our producer. Dangerous pass inside. Rosses couldn't handle it. Get but Strawbridge on the hold there. That's his third. So Cousins got three. Strawbridge has got three. Alexander tried to. And then they get Cousins. Put the hammer down. Yeah, see, that's his fourth, and that hurts because actually, yeah, that's Cousins' fourth foul. And that and he's hurts. Been the, he's been playing so well. Yeah, he's the main spark plug for this team, and if he goes out of this ball game, where do you look to for offense? I mean, he's got 18, and now he's got to sit with four fouls. Oh, they changed the foul call? I believe so. 
That would have mattered. They might have left Cousin in. Ten on the shot clock. Tigers got to get to work. John Jones working with three. He's got to hoist one. Good defense. Shot clock violation. Didn't hit anything. Didn't draw iron, and Hornets forced, forced the turnover. So they haven't changed the foul call on the official score or the official stats. Strawbridge should have four and Cousins should have three, but we'll see how they sort that out. Charles Tate getting his shoes together. Leading all scorers, it's Jordan Cousin. He has 18 points, six or seven. Near flawless game from him, aside from the foul trouble. Oh, no, that was a push off. Keep you on Stewart. I saw that the whole way. Got a little too aggressive. See him push off there if we get the replay. 12.45 to go in the ball game. Texas Southern has led the entire way, wire to wire as it stands. Largest lead again has been 23. Hornet shooting marginally better in the second half than in the first. They ended the first half shooting 32%. Now they're shooting 45%, so a little ways better. Absolutely. As Texas Southern breaks that press. Gilliam. He's got Jackson on him. Says, may I have this dance? Gets right to the rim. I'm blocking. Foul called on the floor. It's on Stewart again. Alexander. Actually, that's Gilliam who will go to the line to shoot two. Rebounds. Quan, Dequan, it's 36-15. You can't Texas win a game Southern. like that. I mean, that's just unbelievable. You, you can't win a game if you don't get rebounds. It's it's actually one of the two main compartments that I look at in a box score, one of three really, if you want to see who wins the ball game. If you make more threes, if you grab more rebounds, and sometimes if you shoot better from the field. But yep. right now it's just not, not coming together for the Hornets. First free throw is good. Oh, I'm sorry. You also look at the turnovers, too. And Alabama State has been solid thus far. They have less than Texas Southern. Yeah, they've, they've really taken good care of the basketball. Stewart, top of the key. Hands it off to DJ Jackson. Drives to the lane, had it blocked. Gilliam got a piece of that one. Takes the charge, moving with numbers, throws it up and can't get it to fall. Brandon Battle cleans it up. Back and forth we go. Both teams, head of steam. Kenny Strawbridge can't find the touch. Follows his own miss and gets the putback. Good job with Strawbridge sticking with it. Didn't give up after the first miss. Sixty forty six now. Fourteen quietly, quietly. Alabama State's chipped away. That's a good move by Gilliam. He drops it. And Gilliam going to work here. He's had a strong run over the last two minutes of play. Brandon Battle. He hasn't had a lot of opportunities tonight. It's been a bad night. Uh -oh. That shot leaning and just not one you want to see with this kind of deficit here. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a break, and so will the teams. They want to talk it over. Hornets want to cut into this lead somehow as we approach the halfway minute mark of the second half. Stay with us. It's the Hornets Sports Network.
Welcome back, folks. 11-16 to go in this ball game. Alabama State is still facing a deficit on their hands. They've got a 16-point deficit to try to cut back on. It starts with defense, and let's see what they get away with. They start the trap. Good ball movement leads to the open three, and they make them make them pay. Yeah, that's Jones who had 10 in the first half. Now he's got 13. Trey's going to fire it back up. Latrell Tate, that's a good answer. You can't trade buckets at this point, though. You no. got to get stops. Man stepped out of bounds, and Hornets catch a break. Down 16. Is Alabama State here? Oh, yeah, he, he did step out of bounds. Good eye by the official. DJ Jackson. They're trying to get Latrell Tate open. Strawbridge going to work. Nice move up and yes. under. You know what he did there? He used the rim as a protector, the one side of the rim, so the defender couldn't block it. That's a great move by Strawbridge. But you got it. Like you said, can't trade baskets. Good contest. Good contest by Brandon Battle. Comes away with the board. Man, if they could get Brandon Battle going to Quan with only three points. Oh, lost the handle. Can't turn it right back over like that. No, you, you don't. You work hard to force a turnover. You don't want to give him any more extra opportunities. Yeah, that's that's another be. charge. Good Lord. I mean, that's the second time he's done that. That's actually number one, Alexander. This drop step, I'm going to lower my shoulder. Watch. Look. I mean, and that's not even as pronounced as what Rosas did. No, not at all. Brandon Battle will always put his body on the that's line. That's four charges he's taken. I mean, now he's not doing it on the offensive end, but he's taking four charges in the uh, – that's a nice view. We got a little close up there. Good job. <laughs> we got the best uh, producer doing all these shots for us. You see, he gets us close where he's wiping it up. We could do a – if we had a telestrator, I could point here and go, there's a spot right there. But we don't. So, for those at home, they would fall asleep if they saw me draw circles. How about uh, let's get DJ Heath getting going here. He's hit some big threes this he year. He has. He has. He definitely had a good – a couple of second-half games we know Alabama State as a whole is a second-half team. And he's one of those players that they look on, they, they look to. Brandon Battle, he's going to try to get something going. A double team headed his way. He's going to have to kick it out. Oh, thought that one was falling. Yep. Said it goes back to the Tigers. Tigers, full head of steam. They get Brandon Battle off his feet, and it draws the foul. Justin Hopkins will be at the line to shoot two. Gillum gets all the way in penetration-wise, goes underneath the goal, and then distributes it. He's using his offhand to kind of keep Heath at bay there. Nice look, though. Battle, like you said, leaves his feet. And then that's a smart foul. It is. You instead make him earn it. Instead of him giving him a bunny, Hopkins, who's been at the line twice and is one of two. So you'll take that all day. I'd like to see Cousin back in the game. I understand, though, with 937, but you've – your, your leading scorer, if you've got to make a comeback, you're going to have to have him on the floor offensively. I know he's got four fouls, but. You need his offense right now. And with a hot hand like that, it's something you should lean on. Jackson got his man on the island, dancing. Strawbridge finds the open man, Heath. Back to Tate. Tate. Tate feeling it. Tate is absolutely feeling it. 14. Alabama State down 14 with 9.15 to go. So they've they've chipped some. You got it. What you do is you play this game in four minute increments and you try to win each four minutes by four or five, right? And we got a timeout. Cousin gonna come back in. I spoke it into existence. Yes, you did. You seem to have a knack for that. I do. I do. Well, that, the Taisha Rudolph three in the earlier game. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was right on cue there. Let's see. What what are we looking at here? I think it's called a timeout. I believe so. Yeah, okay. Is it a 30? Somebody hmm. fell. Oh, I got it. Gillum oh. hurt himself. Oh. You see, now watch. Of course, he moonwalked. But right there, he stepped. And when he stepped, oh, something happened to his knee. And so that's why they called the injury timeout. 
great job to get that for us on the replay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because that's hard to see. We're blocked right here at midcourt with the COVID protection and the ice hockey glass right here that we got, plexiglass, and the monitor. So great job by getting us that look. But he just he kind of landed awkwardly on that, on that knee. And, of course, Gillum is going over to the bench right now letting them look at it. He's trying to walk it off. It was non-contact, and that's never a good that's thing. The, remember when Shemaya Ward had the non-contact? We got all worried that she comes out in the second half and it gets 12. Balling. Yeah. yeah. So let's not hope that happens with Gillum. Weathers finds the open man in the corner. That three ball, no good. Good rebound and a foul by Texas Southern to compound it. Good job. And that is Rossus. He's a big old boy, 6'7", 200, but he's, you know, he's, he's lean. When it's lucky, John Jones could make him pay on that three-pointer. 67-53. 14 point lead for the Tigers of Texas Southern. Cousin. Look at Cousin. Drive. Look at Cousin. Oh, I thought that was going to fall. A little drop step there. Good job by Brandon Battle. Open three. A rare three from Strawbridge, and he nails it. Here come the Hornets. 67. That's 11 points. That's it. That's, a, that's, that's doable. That's manageable. We're in that range, folks. Second half state has come to play. Second half state. That's a good. They need to get T-shirts with that. That's a good nickname. Oh, good passing. Get close that on defense though, and he blew it. Ah, you got second get the chance rebound. though. When they're missing bunnies, you got to get the boards. That's Rossos on the bucket. Second chance points doing Alabama State in right now. It goes back to the rebounding I talked about. Strawbridge. Loose on the handles. Winding's up in the hands of the Trail Tate, and he knocks down a three-pointer. Trail Tate, 14 points. He's hot, and now it's 10. It's down to 10. Alabama State can get a stop here with a chance to get it down to single digits after being down as much as 23. Cousins got to be careful. Oh, another missed layup. They've had plenty of those. Nice job by DJ on the backside. That's great help by the guard. Coming down low on the backside. There's battle, and it's eight points. And Mo Williams calls the timeout. I, you got all the momentum, and, and you've got everything changing. I don't know, but anyway, he's, he's been in the NBA. I have not, so we'll, 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 we'll defer to him on that. They'll take a timeout. Alabama State on a massive run to get them back in this ball game. We're within single digits. Stay with us. Welcome back, folks. Alabama State has found the run they needed to get back into this ball game. We are within single digits. It's a 10-2 run over the past two minutes and change, and they have five unanswered. Anytime you come out of a break with a little easy E, you know it's a good chance for Alabama State to come back. Oh, yes, absolutely. That's, that's uh, old school right there. Alabama State has gotten hot from three-point land. They've knocked down four of the last five from deep. I like the press, too. Now, it's, it's a token press. you got to watch Cousins. There you go. 
Right on cue. Brandon Battle. Oh, that oh my goodness, down. no. Good oh, hustle. rebound, though. Yep. Wide open man. DJ Jackson, no good on the three. And that was a missed opportunity there for the Hornets. It was. I mean, even from a, just an emotional standpoint, if he throws that down and cuts that lead to six. Jones. That's a poor shot. They're panicking a little bit. Texas Southern is losing their composure a little bit. They're rushing shots. They're playing hurried. And they definitely, they do. They've lost their composure. And the coaches sense that, so they call a timeout. We'll be back and let them talk it over. Alabama State in good position. Welcome back, folks. Kenny Strawbridge at the line to shoot the one and one. They got Alexander for his fifth. So one of the starters for Texas Southern is now out of the ball game. Strawbridge hits the first free throw. And uh, he's two. He's three for three from the line. Seven point ball game before that <laughs> miss. Sorry, I did it again. <laughs> Unbelievable. You're too good with the commentator's I mean, curse, I man. <laughs> un freaking believable. I know. I got the SID down there giving me the evil eye, the stink eye. One is playing good defense right now. Eight on the shot clock. They got to tighten up. Strawbridge. Alexander out of the game, and that's a great job by Weathers with the left hand. Well, this has been consistent. Hasn't had a large explosive second half, but he's done his work. Bad turnover for the Hornets. 
That's something that'll kill your momentum every time. Texas Southern weaving. They'll slow it down, burn a little clock. We're past the six minute mark of this ball game. Alabama State has his chances, but they need to start making something happen if they want to make this an even ball game. No shot on the floor, but they'll be shooting the one-on-one -one as Weathers goes to the basket. Strawbridge now has four fouls on the afternoon. Oh, they do give him two shots. Oh, no, one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. One-on-one. -on -one. Saying he bodied him up on the floor. Back to double digits for Texas Southern. And two for two at the stripe. 14 for Weathers. 11 point lead. Strawbridge and Cousin both with four fouls. Cousin, heat check three-pointer off the back iron. Offensive rebound, a rare one for Alabama State in this ballgame. Strawbridge will try I like one. that. Take that shot. It's why They backed off of Kenny Strawbridge, so go ahead and take it. He knocked down one earlier. He comes in handy with a timely one right there. Down eight. Alabama State with 5.02. Still within reach. Look how Texas Southern has slowed it down. Yeah, they, they want to They're run gonna run clock. clock. They're gonna run eight seconds on the shot clock. Gillum back in the game after the knee problem. Floater off the mark, one and done again. Brandon Battle corrals the miss. Jackson picks up his dribble, gets it right back. Ooh. Oh, dangerous. Cousin open for three. Wow. He drills it. Cousin with 21 on the night. He's playing really, really well. Happy for Jordan Cousin. Season high for sure for Jordan Cousin. It is indeed a season high. You'd hate to spoil it. Getting to the paint. Weathers draws the foul, doesn't get the shot to go, so we'll have two. And don't out. look now, but this five it's five points. Yes, indeed. I mean, it, that, that has happened like in a blink of an eye. Five-point lead for Texas Southern. Weathers three of four from the line. What a great free throw shooter Weathers is. <laughs> see if I can see if this works. Oh, no, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> I it only works effort, for though. us, though. Yeah. Man. Weathers is just an unbelievable free throw shooter. With those shorts hiked up, he really gets a little bit more of some leverage there. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Travis telling me it's not going to work. Nope, no, it's a swish. Well, I'll just be quiet when they shoot free throws. Seven-point ball game here. And we'll take a timeout on the floor. Horner is trying to get their bearings together. Stay with us. We have an interesting game forming about. It's the Hornet Sports Network. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, Success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success would not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. 
On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. Alabama State has made this game very interesting. The score is 75 to 68 with 4.06 to go left in this ball game. Now, Darrell, this Alabama State team was facing a 23-point deficit at the 17-minute mark of the second half, and they brought it this close. There's no reason to think they can't even tie this game or even take the lead. Absolutely. Uh, Alabama State has a great chance, definitely within reach, definitely within striking distance. It's been the three ball that has – led to this massive comeback for the Hornets. In the second half, they're shooting six of nine. Jackson, dangerous pass, and that's a turnover. Can't have it right there. Absolutely cannot have it. Those are critical errors that could damage any chance you have of making the comeback. Brandon Battle trying to slide in, so I think he was anticipating him to stay where he was and just try to maneuver it in. They're going to run clock. You know, the, the, the weird thing about that is, though, this doing this takes Texas – that's backcourt. I guess it's not. It takes Texas Southern out of their offense. Put back is good. The jumper was off the mark. However, Justin Hopkins was there to clean it up. DJ Jackson in trouble. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Battle has just had stone hands all afternoon. Cousin. Finds the open DJ Jackson. That shot blocked again. Out of bounds, though. It'll remain Hornet possession with 12 on the shot clock. Weathers caught his own block, standing out of bounds. Hopkins looks hurt. He's hobbling. Grimacing a little bit. I mean, Weathers has really got the shorts up there, he man. Does. He, <laughs> he looks like somebody in the Olympics in the 80s. No, seriously. Like Carl Lewis on the on the 4x100. That's exactly <laughs> what he looks like. Officials making sure there's no wet spots on the floor. Don't want any more unfortunate incidents. Hornets working with 12 on the shot clock. They'll try to run somebody off the screen, I'm sure. The five on the floor for head coach Mo Williams. DJ Jackson, Latrell Tate, Brandon Battle, Jordan Cousin, and Kenny Strawbridge. Tough shot for Brandon Battle. Can't get that hook to fall. Weathers will bring it up. Just past the three-minute mark left in this ball game. Texas Southern content to run a little clock. Hornets fake the double team. Gilliam, cousin on him, five on the shot clock. Offensive. No, he calls the block. Indeed they do. I think they might have caught Brandon Battle moving. No, no offensive. They, charge, they changed to go. an offensive that, foul. That's the way you do it right there. Get it, just get it right. I think they were looking to see if he was in this cylinder right there. I you know, think so, too. That's what it was. They thought that he was further back, but he's not, see? Where he fell, where he landed, but his feet were outside that arc. Yes. So that's a good call. Jordan Alabama Nicholas. State still with a shot here. Arguing with the official. He said, come on, man. <laughs> Strawbridge on the inbound. 2.39 to go left in this ball game. There's still time, but Alabama State has to make something happen rather quickly. Battle off the screen. Latrell Tate, that's the foul, and he'll be at the line to shoot two. On Jones, I believe. That's his fourth. I just saw Tate bounce off his body. Okay, Weathers is his fourth. I'd rather get Weathers out of there than Jones anyway. He's just tired of looking at his shorts. I am tired of looking at his shorts. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an 80s movie on the beach or something. 
Travis Jerome used to wear them like that. <laughs> I'd like to make made free throw here and then a steal on the inbounds. Wouldn't that be sweet? Boy, that would be glorious. On, on the uh, little pressure there, token pressure. Tate's had a great game, too. He's got 17. Hornets bringing the double. Oh, that was so close to getting turned over. It's still bleeding clock, so they've got time to make no a double happen. No need to foul. They don't need to – don't foul. Just play good defense. Ten on the shot clock for Texas Southern. Weathers. That's a push off. I saw the off. There it ball is. Go. Yep. Oh, is he calling it on Alabama State? I thought Weathers. You yeah, saw the off is. arm. I saw the off arm go, and that would have been five for Weathers. Instead, they get DJ Jackson. Tigers in the double bonus. Weathers good on the first. Weathers with 17. He does lead Texas Southern in scoring. Two for two with the stripe. It pushes the lead to nine and, and lowers the odds of a comeback happening. Jackson, step back go. three pointer. Left and short, offensive rebound. Brandon Battle, he goes back up and in. Yeah, Brandon Battle did the smart thing. Take the two there. 79 72, you need to stop. Still don't need to foul yet. Hornets taking the double. They're content on running clock, so that's smart play. Gilliam driving it to the lane. Floater is up. Oh, no, 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 That is in the cylinder. No, 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 no. Officials are going to review it, but I think that's over the cylinder. That should be offensive interference. He'll review it. Officials are going to look it over. They'll come back. And the teams will talk it over. We'll let them review, and we'll come back after this. All right, folks, officials have done their due diligence. And the official ruling is offensive interference. So Hornets will have the possession. 124 left in this ball game. Time dwindling down. They've got to make something happen quickly. Get a good shot. Cousin has had the hot hand. He'll drive him to the lane. Runner too strong off glass. And that should just about do it with this. Count the basket and one. Weathers gets up, 6-3, with the two-handed flush. 
putting on what should be the exclamation mark on this ball game. Look at Weathers just gets that step. Yeah, he got up fouled there. on the way up. Yeah. Twenty-one for Weathers. It's probably why he got the shorts up. It gives him some yep. extra spring. It does step. give him some extra spring. Shorts would have gotten the way there. Strawbridge will try a three-pointer. Too strong. And foul call on the floor. Tell you what, Nicholas loves to talk. Uh, oh yeah, he's been talking. He's got 14 transfer from Stephen F. Austin, and uh, he love he's been talking all night. He has uh, two of two from the free throw line. Oh, oh, that's ugly right there. Uh, yeah. I would not say much coming down the floor after shooting a free throw like that. Yeah, not ideal. <laughs> Gosh, he looked weak. Huh? Yeah, he yeeted that bad boy there. So following this game, Alabama State will fall to four. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my god. That gosh. was off the of take two, I think. No, they say it's Alabama State basketball, but, man, that was vicious. He swatted that straight down. Yeah, he did. That was I mean, That was like a hammer to a nail. Hornets turn it over. Outlet pass. Yeah, the battle's not going to let him dunk. He ain't going to let Nicholas dunk. Now, now we'll see if they come over and look to see if it's intentional. That's, yeah. They're about to tee up Johnny Jones. Texas Southern get a little dance happy on the court. Following this game, Alabama State will fall to 4-11 and 11 on the season. Yeah, that's, Just, a, that's intentional. I mean, oh, Definitely. I mean, he, he tackled him, bear hugged him. So they called it intentional, I believe. Most definitely. Yeah, they called it flagrant. He just bricked two earlier, so. That's three missed free throws in a row for Nicholas. This is one of the final home games for Alabama State. It's the first of a two-game homestand, the final homestand, of course. Following this ball game, the Hornets will take on Alcorn State. Is it Alcorn or Prairie View? I'm sorry. I'm looking okay. at the wrong thing here. It is Prairie View A&M. Conference champion last year, right? Indeed. Threw the ball out of bounds. Good job by Alabama State defensively there. <laughs> That's a great sound effect. Hornets going to try to get a good couple last few possessions here. Jackson into the lane and gets it to go. Good job by DJ with 13 there. 13 on the night. We'll have a quick timeout on the floor. When we come back, we'll have the closing stages of this ballgame. It's the Hornet Sports Network. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success will not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need your help. A gift to Alabama State Athletics is an investment in our student athletes, our staff, and our potential. The life of a student athlete is unlike any other. It provides the opportunity to receive a world-class degree and compete at the highest level. Between classes, studying, training, and competing, success will not be possible without the resources and support that Hornet Nation delivers. 
Your gifts will help fulfill the mission of funding scholarships, programs, and facilities for championship athletics. On behalf of all Alabama State student athletes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back, folks. It's the closing stages of what will be a Texas Southern win. 39 seconds left on the shot clock. Nine second difference between shot clock and game clock. It's been quite the second half performance for Alabama State, but it just wasn't enough. Yeah, you don't, we don't operate in moral victories, but you got to give Alabama State a ton of credit for continuing to play hard, not give up, and uh, take coaching into the second half because they were down 21, I believe, at the half. And uh, largest lead was twenty three yeah. too. And so they, you know, they came all the way back and I think cut it to five. Yes, was the closest. it was five. And uh, at that point, uh, Alabama State continued to play hard and had an opportunity to cut it to three, but just couldn't secure the uh, defensive rebound. Just some timely, well, untimely turnovers, I say. It really deflated some of their efforts. They really had a good control over their turnovers in general in this ball game. Oh, yeah, they only had 13 compared to 20. It's just the rebounding. 48 to 29 will kill you. No, for sure. You can't win a game if you're getting killed down a margin of 20 on the rebounding. You have to have a, a spectacular outside shooting game to make up for that kind of deficit, and that's what brought them back into this ball game. Yes, it is, because free throws, 16 free throws for Texas Southern. That's actually 18 now. I'm, I'm that was not updated. Cousin, he's had the hot hand all night. He leads the Hornets in scoring. He has 21 on the night. Michael Weathers leads all scorers on the floor. He has 22. DJ Jackson with the foul there. And I think that'll put, is that Weathers? Yeah, Weathers on the line again. Weathers with 22 points. Nope, Gillum's on the line. Correction, Weathers pretended he was going to be on the line and then jumped off. Texas Southern keeping Nicholas back by himself in a defensive prevent. That's two free throws down, and that'll send the Texas Southern Tigers on their way to a victory against Alabama State University. Foul call on the floor, an exercise in futility. If you're Johnny point. Jones, Texas Southern's coach, and you're up 12 with 17 seconds to go, and one of your players commits a foul, oh, you right. absolutely lose your mind. Yeah, you that. get into him. And then he I'd, fouls out. He, he, would, he would be uh, somebody that I might have to miss a post game, can miss a post game meal after that. Fouls <laughs> been <laughs> A little bit of cosmetics for Kenny Strawbridge. So with this win, Texas Southern will have completed the season sweep of Alabama State. Last time these two these last two teams played, it was January 30th. An 80 to 73 loss for the Hornets. So, the final score in this ball game, 86-76 Alabama State. The leading scorer for all teams, Michael Weathers, he finished with 23 points, 6 of 11 from the field, 10 of 11 from the free throw line for Alabama State. Jordan Cousin had a season high, 21 points, 7 of 12 from the field. He got a bunch of help from everybody. Kenny Strawbridge had 19. Latrell Tate had 16. DJ Jackson contributed with 13 points for himself. Brandon Battle, however, had an off game. Four turnovers, three of 11 from the floor, only seven points. He's this team's leading scorer. And, of course, that's one he's going to have to look back upon and try to, look, try to have a better performance about. Looking at the uh, Texas Southern stats before we sign off here and the, the team stats, Texas Southern was led by Weathers. He had 23, Walker had 14, Nicholas had 14, and Jones had 13. Texas Southern shot it 52% from the field, 40% from three-point land, 
It was 20 of 27 from free throws, 74%. Alabama State shot at 38% from field goal range, 41% from the three-point line. Free throws, 13 of 18 for 72%. Team statistics, Texas Southern absolutely mashed Alabama State on the boards, 49-29. Turnovers, though, a little different story. 20 turnovers for the Tigers, 13 for Alabama State. And points off turnovers, Alabama State did have 16 as opposed to 14 for Texas Southern. Now, folks, again, Monday, Alabama State will take on Prairie View A&M. That will be the final home game of the season for Alabama State. Join us then, and we'll be there to give you a good game. Signing out from the Hornet Sports Network, it's Daquan Lee, joined by Daryl Daprich. It's been a pleasure. Hope you all have enjoyed. And Hornets will be back again on Monday.